Welcome to Shook at Night for a very special late night Friday live stream. And I am super excited. I will go ahead and leave some timestamps down below for those of you that are watching on the replay and you want to go ahead and check out your favorite segments. We'll see where the night takes us. Don't really have anything permanently on the agenda, although I do have a couple of videos I do want to look at. Uh, as per usual, let me go ahead and say hi to those that are arriving. Welcome in, everybody. How are you guys doing on this late, late Friday night? I guess it's not, uh, well, it's not really that late. It's 11, but if you're on the West Coast, it's only 8. Yeah. It's only 8 p.m. That's like early, early. So y'all are still out at the club. <laughs> I know a Friday Night Live is everything okay. We've got our blue light glasses, trying to keep the eyes protected. You know what? Speaking of like going out to the bar and stuff or the club, did I say this? I don't know if I said this last Sunday already, but... There's only like one bar that stays open till two in my town now. The other bars close at like 10 on Friday. 10. <laughs> like what? You're going to go home at 10 and do what? And do gosh knows what with gosh knows who? It's just going to lead people to be in somebody's basement on the west side of town. At 12 a.m. It's the weekend, guys. Friday, Friday. Got to get down on Friday. It's been, what, 10 years? 10 years since um, Friday came out. What do you think? What do you think? No, but, like, really? Um, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to put out... I'm trying to keep up my schedule which is five pieces of content a week. So we have to get this out today because I am going to Delaware tomorrow. You like the fit? I want it to look like straight. Do I look straight? That was kind of like what I was... It's Kyle. Kyle picked the outfit today. I picked it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, CC Wolf Cat, welcome to Shookers. Welcome! Welcome! <laughs> that will never get old. That welcome will never get old. Shoddy Bay? What's that? <laughs> I think Saji Shoddy was live. How long are you going to Delaware? No, it's just for the day, y'all. Just for the day. It's only one hour away. To go to the mall that I want to go to for like a little birthday trip, kind of <laughs> little trip for my birthday. You know, we're celebrating looking so hetero. I'm quaking. Oh my gosh. I'm coming out. I said, I'm coming out. I'm coming. I said, I'm coming to the party. <laughs> uh, Anna, thank you for the super. Hey, Alex, how was your birthday? So happy you're on live. Perfect start to my weekend. Welcome, Anna. How are you doing? Everyone say hi to Anna. Thank you. Um, It was good. Birthday was good. I went to my grandma's last Sunday, as I usually do, and she made me um, meatballs, spaghetti and meatballs. I probably talked about that already. <laughs> And then actually my grandma and my mom bought me the same ice cream cake. So I had two ice cream cakes and I was able to take one whole ice cream cake home. So now I have like, well, I already had like three more pieces, two or three, <laughs> but I have practically a whole ice cream cake in there still. I was eating like the frosting off the side because I was like, when you're an adult, you can just do the op. You can just eat the frosting off of the side. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing a visa run. Yes. <laughs> I 
trying to get that visa. I guess you could just like drive to Canada and come back, right? Or does that work? I don't get it. I don't get how the whole visa thing works out. So I was confused because Chantal was saying that she has never been to Saudi Arabia. So this is like a correction. Correction, correction, correction. Because I said on Girl Talk, she goes to Saudi Arabia. Because I thought to border hop, or she did, or she probably still does, you know. But she doesn't go to Saudi Arabia. She takes a plane to Qatar. I thought that um, she would drive. So if you drove, the only place to go would be Saudi Arabia or Iraq. And I didn't think she would go to Iraq because, I mean, when you look at, like, the U.S. travel advisory, the only, like, the only place it tells you not to go in Kuwait is close to the Iraq border. So I don't know. I don't know if she would be okay as a Western woman, honey. Maybe she would be fine. I don't know. I saw like a short of someone going to Iraq. Like, do you guys watch that girl? She goes to, she went to like Iraq, Afghanistan, a lot of Middle Eastern countries that like Americans typically don't go to because of our government relations. <laughs> But uh, she uploaded shorts and she was fine. She said the people were nice. She went to Iran. Which they really advise against on the website. I like to just look at the website and see what it says. Like, can you go here? Should you go here? Thank you for the belated birthday wishes, everybody. I hope you guys are doing swell tonight. Birthday bash Burger King mukbang in Kuwait. <laughs> I don't think she's eating Burger King. Or did you mean me? <laughs> well, I'm not in Kuwait. So I guess you mean Chantal. But she's not eating Burger King. I believe Burger King is boycotted. Maybe somebody knows. Is Burger King on the boycott list? I'm not 100% sure. I gave up fast food a few months ago. For the most part. I mean, I got a sub with my family, like, not that long ago. But it doesn't count when you get it with your family, right? Or if somebody else pays for it, it doesn't count. Because that's just free food, you know? Okay, I meant, like, for the diet is what I meant. But, yeah. Um, CC Wolf Cat, thank you for the super chat. Uh, I missed, I missed the gym and you missed the gym and lost my 18 months. Oh, you missed the payment. You missed one payment. Oh, I was like confused because <laughs> you wrote PYMT. Okay. Lost my 18 months. I'm so behind from having to babysit my grandkids. Happy belated birthday, Alex. Have a fun trip. Thank you, Cece. And I was a little confused because I knew you were a member. I knew you were a member for a long time. So I was like, why does it say welcome? But anyways, OG, OG, OG. Thank you for being a member for 18 months. I guess 19 months now. Um, thank you, Alicia. How you doing? She's boycotting all fast food places. Surely she needs to, honestly. <laughs> That's actually really good for her to be boycotting fast food. Boycott Kellogg's. Did you guys see that Kellogg's? I posted this on Twitter. The CEO came out and was like, if families are struggling with the economy and food prices, you guys could just have cereal for dinner. Yeah, it felt very like, let them eat cake. Because, you know, you know, this guy's like probably a billionaire, right? Kellogg, CEO, have cereal for dinner. Are you effing kidding me? Get out of my face. Can you imagine if you... If your, like, 
you're feeding your 14 year old son who just came back from football practice at 6 p.m. and you give him a bowl of cereal, like he would hate you. <laughs> but he needs something more than just cereal, you know? Like, let them eat cereal, bish. Are you kidding me? That was like their marketing strategy. Try cereal for dinner. <laughs> I mean, like, as a single adult, sure, like, I've done that on occasion just because it can be tasty, but not for your family. Are you kidding? No. He was specifically talking about, like, families, so. Yeah. <laughs> I would eat cereal for dinner, though. <laughs> On a bad day, I don't want to cook anything. I'm being really lazy, but that's a little bit different. When you're bachelor situation type deal. No nutrients, mostly sugar. Yeah, or so I've heard. I guess it depends. What about like Special K? Wasn't that like Special K was marketed as a meal replacement at one point? And people were just eating Special K? That was a thing, right? Were they just eating Special K and that's it? Like, <laughs> breakfast, lunch, and dinner Special K? <laughs> or just having Special K for breakfast and then eating low-cal? The Kashi cereal. Yeah, no Kellogg's. F you to Kellogg's. I'm not buying your cereal now. For at least six months. I don't even know if I do buy their cereal. I like the Cheerios. Is that Kellogg's? Now I'm like, Cheerios is Cheerios. It's not Legos, right? Or is it Kellogg's? No, it's Cheerios. No, it is Kellogg's. Is it or isn't it? I'm not sure. Hold on, hold on. Whose cereal is that? <laughs> is Cheerios Kellogg? General Mills, Better Crocker and Pillsbury, including Cheerios. No, it's General Mills. It's not Cheerios. Okay, goody goody gumdrops, because I like... um. The, hmm, I like the Cheerios with oat and, like, sugar. I don't know. <laughs> it has, like, little bits of oat in it. I like it. It's almost like honey bunches of oats, but different. So good. So good. Something about cereal fills me up, though, so much, but not for, like, long. It fills me up. Like, I'll have two bowls of cereal and be like, oh, that was too much. <laughs> have I missed much? No, girl, you have missed nothing. All we've talked about is cereal. <laughs> We're on our cereal kick. I need to, how do I get this chair to stop squeaking, guys? Can you hear this? Hmm. I'm going to not speak. I want to, like, fix that somehow because it's kind of annoying. I don't know if you guys can hear it that bad, but if I'm speaking, but I'm, like, annoyed by it. Julia Rose, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Alex. Glad to be here. Happy Friday. Much love. Thank you, Julia. Welcome. Do you want to welcome? Welcome. Welcome. Cereal goes hard. <laughs> put Crisco in it. Why would you put Crisco in it? You can't hear it? Really? Okay. Shoot. I'm trying to like blow this up. Okay. Why is that annoying? Okay, now it's working. Yay. It's not loud to us. Okay, because I have like a muter sitch type deal on it. Oh, we've got another super chat. 
Letta131, thank you for the super. Please pray for my mom. She is really sick. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry to hear that, Letta. Yes. Everyone, please pray for Letta's mom or put her in your thoughts and prayers. I mean, you're eating a bagel with PB. Yum. I love a good bagel, but Bagel with cream cheese and jam. Jam too. Mmm. So good, guys. So good with the jam. I don't know what it is. It's just so much better. <laughs> Hi from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Hey, girl. You know, I didn't know till recently that, like, Edmonton is pretty big. Like, there's a lot of people there. Lots of people there. I didn't know that. I thought it was like not that many people. I don't know. <laughs> it's like so far up and so far away from like everything. You're like in the middle of nowhere. But it's a really built up city. So it's not like you're don't have things or whatever. But you don't have a target. <laughs> <laughs> yeah what should I get at the mall tomorrow guys where should I go they have a Lego store at this mall that's the one thing my mall does not have a Lego store so I get to go to that um what else maybe jeans or shorts from PacSun I'm like only wearing shorts now well, if it's under, if it's in the 30s or under, I guess I'll wear pants. But if it's 40 and over, I'm wearing shorts. That's like my new thing. I don't care if people make fun of me. <laughs> Aren't you cold? I always hated when people said that. Like, Aren't you like cold? Um, I realized what I signed up for, sweetheart. And no, my legs don't really get cold. It's only when the air, the air breezes up and makes it like shrink. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> your balls. Um, they like if it's cold, they get really, really close to the body. If that makes sense. I don't know why we're talking about this. It's anatomy YouTube, please. Like, this is human anatomy class. Letta131, welcome to Sugars. Welcome! Wait, what happened? Hairy legs. Um, my legs are, like, kind of hairy, but, like, not. Not, like, super hairy. If you're asking if I shave them, no. But they're not, like, super-duper hairy. They're just, like, regular hairy. They're not super not hairy, but they're not, like, super hairy. <laughs> I've always been, like, pretty light on hair, like, on my chest. I don't have any hair except for, like, a little tuft right here. And then the happy trail, plus, like, a little bit on my stomach. But, like, as far as the rest of my body, like, not really. And my back, like, no hair on my back. You know, because some people have, like, really, really hairy backs. I think Chantal said that uh, Salah's, Salah was hairy. What specifically did she say? She said his butt, like, his hairy butt. Didn't she say that when she was mad at him? She said that in the car when she was raging after the um, other woman was exposed. What a time. That was the time of our lives. Amber should just admit that she doesn't even want to do YouTube anymore. Thank you for that comment, Janelle. I kind of agree with you. Like, what is Amber doing? 
We should watch an old one and gossip about present day at some point. (laughs) But yeah, like I, it would have been nice to have an Amber video to react to on the live stream. Because I knew I wanted to do a live stream since I woke up this morning. I just wasn't sure when to do it. (laughs) And then we kept playing our game. She said, shove it up your hairy. Yeah. Hairy bum bum. Bum bum cream. (laughs) Did you guys ever use the Brazilian bum bum cream? Is that like worth using or is it just overhyped? Is it just overhyped? Oh, yeah, because I'm going to the mall so I can go to Sephora. Although my mall has Sephora. You know what I don't have though? Macy's. If my mall had Macy's, it would be like pretty decent. My hometown mall. If it just had a Macy's, it had a Bonton, if you guys even know what that is. But it went out of business. So they need a Macy's now, and then it would be a decent mall. It would be pretty good if they just had a one good anchor store. Because it has JCPenney and Boscovs, and I think that's it. There's, like, one empty anchor, and then the other anchor is, like, Dave and Buster's kind of thing. But not Dave and Buster's. There aren't that many Macy's left. Macy's is closing down. Where? Oh, my gosh. Just Jamie. Thank you for being a member for 15 months. Theory is ALR is embarrassed to show her real life now. Yeah, I think you're definitely on to something there. She doesn't want to show us what's actually going on. That's why... Last week, when we looked at 2019, when we looked at 2019, it was so different. Like, she was more honest about her situation. Even though she was lying about how bedbound she was, she was still more honest about what was going on for real. Because she's 500 pounds now. That's not that much different than she was in 2019. I mean, she was like, 572 to 520-ish. How much different is 520 from 500, you know? Thank you, Jamie. You're definitely onto something. You had a bonton? I used to like the bonton. Like, it, it was like Macy's, basically. It had... um more like designer stuff but not not like really expensive designer like Nordstrom but like middle class designer you know what I mean <laughs> stuff that I like you remember the bon ton you worked at Mervin's what's Mervin's I've never heard of that before how does she manage to maintain 500 that's crazy to me yeah I don't know Caroline ALR was definitely 600 in 2019. You know, a lot of people think that for sure. Maybe she, maybe that's the T. Maybe that is the T. She was actually 600 and she was either messing with that scale or that was a time where she wasn't doing weigh-ins. But I believe she was doing weigh-ins the whole time. Maybe she was messing with the scale or... The scale just wasn't reading her properly because she was so, well, you know, big. Big? Are you calling me big? I can't believe I haven't added that to the soundboard. I feel like a failure, dude. An absolute failure. Okay, Girl World fan, thank you for being a member for four months with the celebration Emoji celebration, emoji celebration, emoji. <laughs> Thank you. Twisty McFisty, welcome to Shookers. Welcome. Twisty Misty. 
interesting. Interesting name you got there. Mervyn's was like JCPenney. Oh, cool. I never heard of it. There used to be like where I live, there was a department store downtown, but it's like a small city. So now I can't imagine there being a department store down there. That would be so cool, though. They don't really have department stores in small cities anymore. I guess they used to, maybe. They do in, like, Philly. The big cities. Of course, New York has Macy's. Philly has Macy's. Are they going to close down Philly Macy's? Because I feel like that one's on the chopping block. But I'll be sad to see it go. You're on a date. Oh my gosh, Brenda. Good luck on your date. <laughs> Mervyn's was Macy's of California. What's going on? My chat was frozen. YouTube. Reese's eggs. Oh my god. Eggs. You had an entire bag of Reese's eggs. That sounds so good. Eggs. 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 Shrimp gate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Um, should we do it's April 3rd. Should we do shrimp gate five year anniversary stream? What do you guys think? Shrimp gate five year anniversary. Yes or no. Five years of shrimp gate. We should have done five years of Octavia, but that passed already. <laughs> What's the most iconic one of 2019? Is it Shrimp Gate? I feel like that's the one that gets mentioned still to this day the most. Shrimp Gate. Um, leather and Hummus. Thank you for the super. Did y'all have Fashion Bug in your area? It was like TJ Maxx or... TJ Maxx for ants. Yeah, like TK Maxx in the UK. Um, <clears throat> oh, is that it's working now? Did it stop working for a second? We definitely had fashion bug, but I used to hate going there because they didn't have any men's. And when I was a kid, my mom and sister would go in there when I was with them and I would hate it so much. <laughs> I wanted to sit in the corner. I have a vivid memory of me sitting in a corner of a fashion bug watching Mr. and Mrs. Smith on a PSP. That was so dope back in the day. So dope. Cape Cod Corporate. Thank you for the super. Please make big and emoji emoji um i believe i have emoji unless it got lost in the shuffle we just never really use it where is it we definitely have emoji emoji i have to look for it now it, it might have gotten lost in the shuffle because when i switched from pc to mac i don't know some of the some of the files weren't working with the Mac. Here it is. Emoji. Emoji. <laughs> there you go, Cape Cod. Emoji. 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 <laughs> it sounds like she's saying emoji. Okay. Yeah, why the heck is Macy's closing down? I don't like that at all. Pineapple pin up. Five years since Octavia. Yeah, girl. 2019. 2019 is five years ago. Yikes. Rach, thank you for the super. I'm so late. What have I missed? You're not really that late. I think we're only like 20 to 30 minutes in. <laughs> so you didn't miss like anything. Welcome, Rach. We didn't even get started yet. Anyways, thank you. And the PSP was 
the best. It really was like you could not you couldn't watch like movies on the go without a PSP. Like that was like the thing to watch movies on the go. So cool. You think I look skinny? Oh, you guys are so flattering. <laughs> flattering. I actually have um this is powdered iced tea. Do you guys like that? Check it out. It's powdered iced tea. <laughs> My aunt used to drink this growing up, like, every day. And it's just, like, really nostalgic for me. And I, I, I really like the flavor. I don't know why. But powdered iced tea. You got to get into it. Lipton. <laughs> Trisha Bo Bisha, thank you for the super happy belated birthday to the best Girl world reactor and just overall cool guy this side of the Mississippi River. Cheers to another year. Alex, P.S. Can I get an eggs? Thank you, Trisha Bobisha. That's so sweet. Of course you can get an eggs. 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 Okay, what's our egg count for the for the evening? We're up to like seven by now. You think powdered iced tea is gross? It's good, though. Is it an old lady drink? Is it an old lady drink? I don't know. <laughs> I love it, though. Powdered Lipton with lemon. It just, it tastes better than the Turkey Hill tea for me. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jamie, for gifting one Shook membership. And Shrimpgate, you have now a Shook membership. Good for you, girly. Um, that was interesting. Like, you know, if you gift a membership, like, you can see who's lurking. Do you have to talk for people to to get a membership or... Will it show somebody that's lurking? Even if they're not talking, will it still, like, give them a membership? So you can see, like, the lurkers. <laughs> old lady millennial drink. Millennials are not... No millennial is an old lady. <laughs> We're not there yet, girl. I was thinking that... Um in like 40 years, 30 or 40 years ish. Yeah. Like 30 in like 30 years, people are going to be like, Oh my gosh, you were born in the 1900s. You're so old. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Cause I'm born in 93. Yeah. So the kids in like 20 to 30 years are going to be like that. Your birthday has a nine in front of it. Oh my gosh. That's crazy, dude. Should we look at ALR's Insta? You're lurking. Hi, Alice. Not anymore. You can't figure out how to buy your own or anyone else's membership. Um, it should just say join underneath the, like, player. Or there's a link in the description box down below. 93, you are a baby, honey. Thank you, Shrimpgate. But I just mean, like, in 30 years, they're going to say, like, we're so old <laughs> for being bored in the 1900s. <laughs> is 95 millennial or Gen Z? It's zillennial. But um, I think it's millennial. Yeah, 95 is millennial. 96 is, I think, either or. No. 97 is definitely Gen Z. 
That's like the oldest Gen Z is 97. But my cousin's 98. And I'm 93. So she's old Gen Z. And I'm young millennial. But we pretty much grew up with like the same TV shows and toys and celebrities. Like we... We both really like Miley and Selena and Demi. They were on TV, Disney Channel when we were younger. And Hilary Duff. My cousin loves Hilary Duff. Like, she watched Younger just to see Ms. Duff. She's so unproblematic for a Disney star, you know? Where's the Amberlynn Reed? I'm ancient, born in 61. <laughs> no, you're not old. You're the same age as my mom, pretty much. Give or take a few years. So yeah, boomers are millennial parents. And millennials are Gen Alpha parents. So, are Gen Alpha going to look at us the way that we look at boomers in a few years? Well, once they start, like, being able to talk. <laughs> talk. <laughs> Just kidding. My nephew, I think, is Gen Alpha. Um, He's eight. Yeah. My nephew is eight, so is that Gen Alpha? Do you guys know? Or is that like young, young, young Gen Z, like the youngest of Gen Z? 2015, baby, is what he is. But he's eight, not nine. I know that's nine years coming up, but. What is it, Bambi? Hi, I'm Bambi, right? What the heck is Hi, I'm Bambi? That's so dumb. Get rid of it, girl. You know, I'm surprised. It is Gen Alpha. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, Gen Alpha is 2010 to 2024. Yikes. Ugh. I feel so old. Like, I graduated um, high school in 2011. And y'all were born in 2011. Like, I can't. I just can't do it. I wish I was in, like, kindergarten. So I could just play toys. And fight with my siblings. And. Oh, wait. They had to go private. That's not Amber. That's so funny. So, look. There's, like, an account. Called hi underscore I'm underscore Bambi. And they had to go private because people probably thought they were Amber Lynn. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Thank you, Angelina Dugan, for the super sticker. A cute little BBJ sticker. Is that what it is? And Deborah Wood for gifting one shook membership, exposing those lurkers. <laughs> Just kidding. Prissy Hippie, you have won a membership. And um, will I still do a Sunday live? Absolutely. Absolutely. This is just extra. This is just extra, extra. Read all about it. Because Sunday is golden. But for those that are coming in later, I'm going to Delaware tomorrow. So I can't do a video. Or I won't have time to do a video tomorrow. So I needed to do five pieces of content this week to meet my goals. And we did. Because we did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Friday, Sunday. Or you could count oh or you could count the previous Sunday if you wanted to. 
But yeah, that's what I need to do. Or else I beat myself up. I also have this thing where I have to post on the first of the month or I feel like we're starting the month off on a bad foot if I don't post the first of the month. It's just this thing. I I feel like it's bad luck if I don't post the first of the month. You know what I mean? Melody Reed. Is your last name like actually read or is it just because of amber no date in delaware no i'm actually going with my mother oh i should have lied and said it was like a date so i would seem cooler but no <laughs> i'm literally just going with my mommy and she's driving <laughs> literally i don't feel like driving I can't see, remember? No. I can see, but at night is pretty bad. Right now. Okay, so here's Amber's... Oh, I don't want to, like, play. I don't want to play, like, her copyrighted music, you know? But I can't get her Instagram to open. I don't feel like signing in. I'm not signed in on Mac, but you guys can see it like pretty good. It's just a montage. She's been posting these over and over and over again. Selfies of her with devil horns on. I don't know what it is. We were discussing that. It seems like she doesn't even want to post on YouTube anymore. Like she's done with YouTube. Is it that she's tired of YouTube or is it that she's lazy? What do you guys think it is? Is she tired of the criticism? Is she tired of people like holding her accountable for her failures over and over again because she can never stick to anything? Or is she just lazy? I don't know. Should we do a poll? Let's do a poll talking about the whereabouts of Amberlynn Reed. The absolute state of Amberlynn Reed. Let's put up her pictures so that we can have it like in the background while we talk about ALR. Since she is not here, she's over YouTube. Okay, we're going to do a poll. Is she ALR's reason? Her 13 reasons. Oh, wait, no. That's not good. She treats us with contempt. She just wants the YouTube coin, but wants to control her narrative, right? She does treat us with contempt. But girl, the subscribers are your bread and butter, literally. Like that bread and butter that you bought is because your subscribers watched your video, you know? So you should be grateful that people give a damn. Because otherwise you couldn't buy that bread or that butter. I mean, you would have to buy it with food stamp money, girl. Living in um, public housing. That's where you would be. Or or on Mama Shook's couch. Mama Shook. Mama um, Lynn's house. Um, Ailer's reason. Or okay, not uploading. Okay, what are we gonna put for the poll options? Um, what was it? She's lazy over YouTube slash hates the audience <laughs> or busy yeah she wants to tell us that she's busy and she's running all these errands and she just life got busy it was never forever what was whitey hb whitey hb's reason for leaving she was like life got busy more interesting it was never forever 
Her subscribers are her two chips instead of in Apple. Thank you, Edie, for being a member for 17 months. Thank you, Mucho. She's unprofessional. Um, a girlfriend. Or no, mental. Mental health. Reasons. That's what she probably would say, but I don't know. It, it could go many different ways. Like, I don't want to conflate laziness with mental health reasons because it's definitely different. And people sometimes go through that where they're just told they're lazy, but it's mental health She sold out to the Illuminati. I think that's what it was. It's a mix of lazy and mental health. Could be. Could certainly be. She has uploaded in her lowest of lows. You know, that's interesting because when she was at her supposed absolute worst, she uploaded the most that she's ever allowed ever uploaded. When she was 572 pounds, she uploaded every single day. So how is that? How does that correlate? Was her mental health okay at that time? Like, I'm confused. Because for those that don't remember, or you weren't around, or you weren't um, here yet, in 2019, she did what she called the 100-day challenge. And she uploaded every single day f over the summer of 2019 from, I think, June all the way to August. And she got to day like 94, 95, I think. She got really close to 100 days of uploading, but she quit at the last week. And it was like, ah, girl. Like, you could have done it. You could have beat a challenge, a 100-day challenge. And she quit the last week. Ugh. You could have stuck it to the haters. But it all fell apart. And she has not uploaded every day since then, um, except for Vlogmas. Yeah, there was, like, certain Vlogmases. Where she did upload every day. You missed the 2019 era. Well, Amber would say that that is inappropriate for you to miss that era. Because that was when she was at her lowest. So, you're behaving inappropriately. Thank you. <laughs> JK. Y'all know me. Like, I can't stop saying 2019. So, who am I to talk? I have like one of those pieces of plastic that's attached to a price tag in my sock and I can't get it out and it's like poking me. You know, the like T-shaped piece of plastic that gets stuck. It's from the price tag. It's not about the price tag. Just want to make the world change. It's not about the price tag. I don't think that's right. Uh, Ursinate, thank you for being a member for 11 months, 2019. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Kyle? 2019. I almost knocked over my drink and that would have been a complete nightmare. All right, let's move this so I don't knock it over. It's not about the money, money, money. We don't need your money, money, money. We're just going to make the world change. It's not about the price tag. That's how it goes, right? <laughs> it's not about the price tag. But I like expensive things. Not really. 
I honestly, like, I'm the worst gay. Like, I don't even care really that much about fashion. I just get a stitch fix every six months, and that's, like, enough clothes for the year <laughs> for me. <laughs> One stitch fix. But maybe I'll buy some clothes tomorrow because I haven't bought clothes in a long time. I don't think I bought clothes since my last, my last, uh, well, Target. I bought a jacket at Target a couple months ago. Amber has been looking so skinny, really. But I don't need any pants at all. I have way too many pants. I don't need any pants. I just want more shorts. <laughs> so I can wear shorts every day. It's getting to be that time anyway. So that's what they'll have out. That is what they will have out is shorts. And like bathing suits and shit. Do they have bathing suits out? I saw bikini tops at Target. Like on Valentine's Day. I was like, oh my goodness. They already have the bikini tops out? What are we looking at? Or what are we talking about? Amber, right? <laughs> oh, let's end the poll. I forgot because it's on the other side of the screen. All right. ALR's reason for not uploading. 64% say <laughs> she's just lazy. Um which is the winning poll. 19% say she's over YouTube, hates the audience. 5% say busy with friends slash errands. <laughs> busy. <laughs> That's great. And 11% say mental health reasons. That's probably what she's going to say, but... How many more times can she make excuses for why she hasn't posted? You know, like, get back on it, girl. Get back on that wagon. <laughs> How are you supposed to pay your bills? How are reaction channels supposed to pay their bills? <laughs> uh, you can only talk about foodie beauty so much. <laughs> Can you imagine? How are they going to pay their bills? Not many people just talk about Amber anymore. I don't think there's not. Is there like anybody that still just talks about Amber? I feel like most people, if they talk about Amber, they also talk about foodie. And maybe somebody else, too. Like, we talk about foodie, Amber, Hungry. We're adding more glitter and lasers. The occasional personal video. That's like someone commented on my video. Can you do a video not talking about other people? And they commented that they commented that the day after I posted my personal video that I posted last week. <laughs> so I'm like, not very good timing. I literally just posted a video that wasn't about other people. But I don't want to be a vlog channel. I want to talk about other people. I want to do commentary. It doesn't have to be our usual suspects all the time. And I will talk about myself now and again, but I don't want to be a vlog channel. I don't have that interesting of a life. And when something interesting does happen, <laughs> I come on and tell you guys. So there you go. Like when I was ghosted, fucking asshole. I still never got a response. Thank you very much. <laughs> when else did I come on? I don't even know. But if something interesting happens, I will make a video about it. As long as it's not like too personal, you know? Like I shit my pants and choked on a potato. 
<laughs> or the other way around. I choked on a potato and shit my pants. <laughs> Probably won't share that. <laughs> Actually, I would share that. Turning your own everyday life into content is, in fact, not normal. I mean, if you can make it interesting enough and you have an interesting enough life, I don't know. My life is not that interesting. Um, I would need to get some side characters. I have one friend that would maybe go on. My cousin would maybe say hi, but... <laughs> I don't have drama. That's the problem. I don't really have drama. So... You need drama for your vlogs, right? I think so. And Amber does have that drama behind the scenes, even if it's not on the... Even if it's not on the vlog, right? Because it's usually not. I mean, I figured, like, when it comes to Amber at this point, it doesn't really matter what the video is. Because... Every video is, like, not the most entertaining. What matters more is the commentary and what's going on, like, the general vibe of the community at that time and what is being discussed and the storyline behind the scenes matters more than her actual video. So as long as you can put out decent commentary, that matters more. We need drama on screen. I agree with you. That would be nice. That would be really nice. Like foodie beauty. It's about the subtext. The words she doesn't say. Yes. Um, Yeah. <laughs> drama on screen. Like the foodie beauty natter saga. Natter saga. So do you guys want to watch? Um, should we watch foodie beauty? She's doing a journey. A new journey. Of sorts. I wonder if anyone has done a like pared down version. I do want to discuss Foodie Beauty and what's been going on. Let's start off with this rumor. There's a really good rumor that Salah no longer lives there anymore. <laughs> but it's weird because I don't know what to believe at this point. Oh, look, there's Hassan. Do you guys watch Hassan on YouTube? <laughs> or do you hate him? I used to think he was like, what's the word? Douchey a little bit. But I started watching him recently because I got recommended. And it wasn't that bad, actually. I was just being judgmental. She's still rewriting history. You think he does live there? Oh, he definitely doesn't live there. And then someone else says, I think he does live there. And then someone else says, he's been in the background. And then someone else says, Salah moved into the toilet room. <laughs> Wait, but... Jordy's live too. You should merge. Merge. Emerge. Psyche merge. <laughs> okay. He was better back then. Um, what did I want to do? I think that, like, if he does live there, he probably lives in a different room, right? Maybe he lives in a different unit, even. Ooh, that would be interesting. He lives in a different unit. <laughs> I almost choked on my own saliva. Okay. Let's watch. Where is it? I literally had it pulled up. Just saying. Has the clip. That she's like making fun. Okay. Was Everyday Miriam. Okay. People do. Where is it? It's like gameplay. 
I promise you it's good, but it is gameplay. Creates. The one that views, and the one that just can't help but react. Under Title 17, I am a member of an elite squad, also known as the Special Viewers Unit. These, are the stories. That's nice to say. Hi, Crow. Anyways, this um, video is called Was Foodie Beauty Everyday Miriam Joking When She Said Salad Just Got Here From His Own Apartment From JS? Just saying. Snowflake stock was chef's kiss perfection. Or what does that mean? Like, good? <laughs> what does that mean exactly? Like, good? Or, like, tea? That's why, like, it's tea. Solid. Um, alright, so I'm gonna be playing some more Phasmophobia because I love scary games, and, um, right now this is, like, going to be some kind of decompression for me after going through a crappy live stream I did on YouTube. Oh my gosh, did you guys see her, um, let's put, like, footage of her. Did you guys see her reaction to the um, reaction channels she was watching? So here it is. The vile reactors of Girl World. So this is what she's talking about when she says decompressing from blah, blah, blah. Because she was reacting to FFG, Breezy, Gorlick, and Milk Tea. I don't know if she actually reacted to Milk Tea. I only heard her react to FFG, but she was actually watching Yo Mama react to them. So what was interesting was <laughs> Yo Mama, she was react. No, FFG was reacting to Chantal, reacting to Yo Mama, reacting to FFG. It was like, I thought about reacting to it or just like reacting to a clip as a joke. So I could say I reacted to blah, 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 go down the line. <laughs> Me reacting to FFG reacting to, you get it. You get the idea. Okay. Let's just put this as the footage and then play this. <laughs> and, um, I have my lights out. I'm, you know, it's all pitch dark and I'm alone with the headset on. And it's super creepy. Yeah, via. And I'm ready to do some ghost hunting. Oh, boy. How many apartments does Salah have? Yeah. We have a lot of apartments, Saggy Naggy. <laughs> Maybe they do. Oh, it's so funny, eh? That's what I think. He has a different unit. No, I've never heard anybody say that. I never heard anybody say... He has a different unit in the same building. Maybe I'm onto something here. Then he could always be there. He always seems to be out, and she's never out. She even said in today's live stream, or when was that? Yesterday? It was this one with the kafia. Yesterday. She says in this one that she... Salah asks her if she wants to go out today, and she says no. Maybe it's via text, so he can go pick her up. LOL. Frankie, thank you for the super. Your vids helped me study and can't believe I caught you live. Currently, originally from Boston at Ithaca to check out Cornell for transfer. Lots of love. Oh my gosh, Frankie. Hi. How are you doing? Um... Thank you. And Ithaca's gorgeous. <laughs> That's what they say, right? <laughs> but I love Ithaca. The downtown is so cute. Um, check out Paris Baguette. I'm sure you know. I'm sure you know Ithaca, but love Ithaca. So cute. I've never been on Cornell campus, I don't think. But yeah. Nice area, nice area for sure. Nice place to go to school. Um, perhaps he is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wiring for you. 
Is there a light source down here? Oh yeah, there is. Let's go in here. Let's look. So I just got here from his apartment and uh Oh my god. Oh yeah, this was the good one where it was like kind of casual. Like listen to this one. In particular, this one. This is the TTTTT one. Because it's so like casual how she slips it in. Listen. Pretty tidy house, huh? Closely, closely. <sighs> Let's go in here. Let's go in here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, sorry. sorry for that guy. Sorry, guys. So I just got here from his apartment and uh Oh my god. I'm just warning you. I'm just warning you. Sorry, Graffy Matt. I'm sorry, guys. See, that was so casual. I'm just warning. So I just got here from his apartment and uh Oh my god. He just I'm got just here from you. his apartment I'm just and you. uh and, and uh sorry guys. So I just got here from his apartment and uh Oh my god. I'm just warning you. I'm just warning you. Sorry, Graffy Matt. I'm sorry guys. <sighs> I don't know. That just felt so like casual to me. <laughs> Maybe it was just a troll. Like, maybe it was just a troll, but the way that she just said that so casually, <laughs> almost as if it was some kind of slip up after she was joking about it all night. Ugh, I don't know, guys. Was she talking about the game? No. She's talking about Salah because Salah said boo when he came in or like, I'm a ghost. <laughs> Boo, I'm a ghost. It just rolled off the tongue. Yeah. It just rolled off the tongue. Kind of like the arsler for her. That just rolls off of her tongue. Or goblin. That rolls off of her tongue. <laughs> the scream hurt your ear. Sorry. Sorry. No, genuinely. I have filters on my um sound so it doesn't go like that loud um yeah it shouldn't go like too 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 loud trisha bobisha thank you for the super i truly believe chantal desperately keeps this lifestyle slash arc going so she can cover her hair and chin her deepest insecurities Oh my gosh, just so he sh just so she can cover her hair and chin. Oh my gosh. Well, she has said that even if she broke up with Salah, like they broke up, she would still stick with Islam and she would still be a Muslim. She did take her shahada. So there is part of her that is serious about this. I mean, she wouldn't go through all of that for nothing, right? Um, so she did take, she did revert. She's, she took her shahada. Um, yeah. <laughs> so just to cover her chin slash hair. Thank you, Trisha. That's an interesting observation. I don't know. Do you guys think that she would, do you guys think that she would still practice if she broke up with Salah or no? You think she would still practice? <sighs> she did that to win over Salah's family. Um, I don't think she won him over, though. <laughs> She's a former, you know what, worker. Former tax worker, everyday Miriam. You don't think she practices now? I mean, she claims to wake up for Ramadan to do her prayer. I think she may, if she broke up with Salah, here's what I think. I think she would stick with it for a little bit. Just to like, in her mind, stick it to the haters, even though we don't, I don't care if she practices or not. But I think she would keep up with it just to, quote, stick it to the haters in her mind. But eventually she wouldn't if they broke up. 
But she would maybe just keep the hijab anyways, you know? Remember when she was doing it, like, at first, I mean, people were saying it was, like, cultural appropriation. But now we know, like, it's not. It was for her man. And she was actually planning on going over there and living that life. And, I mean, living over there, it is respectful to wear one, right? I look so good. You think? I think I look like crap tonight. <laughs> Can she survive without the money? What money? YouTube money? I think she could survive without YouTube because she would have to scurry back to Canada, number one, because I think you need money. You have to be making money to live in Kuwait as an expat. You can't just be like sponging. Plus, Kuwait is not going to give an expat any money. You have to be making money to live there. I believe you have to make at least 2300 U.S., a month. I think I read that. So if she lost her YouTube, she would scurry on back to Canada and get Benny's. And she would make like a thousand dollars a month doing Twitch, Patreon, and Cameo altogether. Only a thousand, probably, I would guesstimate. Maybe more, maybe less. But then to supplement that thousand, she would get Benny's. So she would be perfectly fine, I believe. <laughs> Let's watch her new journey. That was definitely the clip that I wanted to share with you guys. To let me know what you guys think. She's not an expat. Well, I guess she's just like the tourist, right? Okay, so she's not technically an expat yet. Or ever, possibly. Well, I mean, we don't really know for sure, but I believe that um, she's still hopping. I believe 100% that she is still just, like, hopping that border, you know? What do y'all think? Border hoppers, border hoppers. <laughs> she border hopping, border, border, border hopping, border hopping. Yeah, I still think, I still think she's still on the visa, visa V. The moldy Gatorade, does the Gator Light have mold in it? This isn't the Gatorade Zero. It's the Gator Light. I don't see. Oh, my God. I see it. Is that just the plastic, though? I think that's just the plastic. I don't think that's mold. I don't know, guys. Scary thought there. I think we'll figure it out eventually. Yeah, for sure. Okay. According to my fitness pal, this meal is 1,252 calories. That's a lot. I have 598 left for the day. For one meal, that's a lot of calories. Shake it. Oh, that's a good point. Where is this? None of them have more. Hi, welcome back to another video. Nope. I do not want to see her cameo. I hate it. Welcome back to another video. Today I have some food. There's nothing I hate more than that freaking cameo plug. Hamio. Cameo. That I'm going to have with you for dinner. So I hope you have uh, grabbed your dinner and are going to eat dinner with me. And uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. Bismillah.
the mold mixed in. The mold has mixed in. Crap. I'm not wearing my ring today because um, I do not want the chicken grease to get on it. I'm sure you can understand. So yes, and I'm au natural right now, kind of halfway. Um, so here I have some chicken breast. Oh, natural. <laughs> That's really 1,200 calories. What even is it? One pita. Let us some know. rice with potatoes I made myself. One will like become two. I have some hummus here and some fatouche salad and some pickles and some uh, greens and some yogurt. So, okay. yes, let's dig right in. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna go for some I have some sea salt and vinegar pistachios. There is no mold. Okay, thank you, Andrea. So... I wouldn't drink it if it were me. You wouldn't drink it? I hope you all had a wonderful day so far. I had an amazing day. It costs like $2.50. I'm drinking it. Every day on this earth is amazing. Am I right or am I right? Oh, yeah, that's definitely like a platter right plate. For you. you know what I mean? It's like a serving plate. Mm. What do you guys think about that plate? What kind of plate would you call that? Yummy. <laughs> it's bigger than average. Why does she have to so, use her hands? She is the type to like pick at it with her hands. Ooh. I um I prayed Fajr this morning early. That's for and then Ramadan. I, uh, went back to bed for a bit. And, or um, Ramadan. I slept like on and off throughout the day, kind of like in between prayers because I was um just like I don't know, kind of low energy, and I was fasting. Fasting. For the day, so I didn't eat until now. Because I had a sore tummy. Yeah, because she doesn't have to fast yet. Oh wait, if she's praying Fajr. I thought that was for Ramadan. That doesn't start yet, right? Or is that just something you do every day? I'll look it up. This is my first meal. I don't think that I'll eat anything else. But... I do want to share my way in. Dawn prayer. Oh my gosh, wait, I missed the way in, folks. 159 kg. What is 159 kg in pounds? Oh! <gasps> She's claiming to be 350.5 pounds. 350.5. There's no way in heck. Lying liar that lies her ass off. That scale's broken, period. Okay, Fadger is daily. My knowledge on Islam is impressive. I don't even know what Fadger is, girl. <laughs> Fajr is all the time So did you guys know Prayer Salah Means Islamic prayer Salah Like his name So Okay so Fajr is just something you do All the time All year long Like when you see people going to a prayer room at a amusement park or something because they'll have like prayer rooms for people. Anybody can use it, right? To pray or even to get like silence, to speak to God or just calm your mind. They have prayer rooms and that would be when people who practice Islam would go to pray and they have to face Mecca which is interesting. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how you figure out 
where Mecca is. I guess, I guess you could pull out your phone and use a compass or like pull up your map so that you could face Mecca. But yeah, that's what you do. And that's in Saudi Arabia. I'm a blood sugar reading. And that's like four times, because five times a I'm day. I'm going to kind of go back to using my YouTube channel as kind of a... Yeah, five times a day. Just a diary. Day. For health, my life. Yeah, Fadger is dawn. And then during Ramadan, you do your prayers as well. Because you always do them. But I thought there was like... Is there like a special prayer for Ramadan? So I'm a bit up there, back up there, and wait. Bit back up there. She was less than 350. Since when was she ever less than 350? I'm confused. Oof. I haven't been paying attention to her way in. Because they're fake. Oh, you can get an app that points to Mecca. Oh, that's convenient. So, Mecca pointer. My plan is. I guess if you get like, yeah, there it is, Mecca compass. I'm gonna try to. Convenient. Um. Do what I did the last time that I lost. Um, a little bit of weight. And basically try to eat substantial home cooked healthier meals to keep away the um the binge eating. Okay, so that's the point. She's gonna have bigger meals, but she's gonna cook them at home. Um so she's only gonna have what seventeen <clears throat> no eighteen hundred calories a day based on what she was showing in the title card. Yeah, like approximately 1,800 calories a day. That's not going to work for her, period, point blank. She should definitely be getting exercise and eating like 2,300, something like that. I mean, I'm not a nutritionist, but she can't go under 2,000 and expect she's not going to binge. She has a lot of leeway. Where especially if she gets exercise, she can have over 2,000 and still lose weight perfectly fine. To maintain, she would have to have like 3,000 or something close to that. I think Amber's is 3,500 to maintain. So hers would certainly be less. Because I found that that was the most... Um the most effective. I just didn't keep it up long enough, but. So yes, that's what I'm gonna try to do again. Oh, that is good. It's the tropical mango, triple mango. The vape store lady gave me a free vape. She was like, here, do you want this? She was like, I'll also throw in this one for free. Pick a flavor. And she had Lifesaver and I forget what the other one was called. But she literally just gave it to me for free. I was like, what? Okay, I'm not going to argue with that. It's a Priv bar. <laughs> My rice yes, girl. today. At least she has something to talk about in this one. I like the chicken. Why is this called most satisfying meal? Is that the point of it? So she's just going to have this really big meal and then a bunch of a bunch of little like snackages, snacky poos. <laughs> I 
number on the scales mean nothing? Well, I mean, when you're like super morbidly obese, sure, it means something. But we were talking about that a couple of videos ago, how it's more important to focus on body fat percentage and where you want to get your body in that regard. Especially if you are like an overweight BMI, you could be an overweight BMI and be in perfect shape because you have a lot of muscle. Um, you could even be like an obese BMI because for me, 183 would be obese. But if I was like super muscular, like so big, and I was 185, I could still be in shape, but obviously <laughs> that's not me. I've gotten to love playing yogurt lately. So focus on that body fat so percentage. Bad. She should focus on that. She should get, she needs to get a scale that gets all of her stats. Although I don't know if they come in super sizes. Maybe because she's supposedly under 400, she can. Let me check if they have a smart scale for like 500 pounds. And it's apparently good for your digestive system. There you go. There you go, 500 pounds, extra high capacity, smart scale, $32, 32 bucks on the Amazon. There you go, girl, no excuses, no excuses. I love pickled vegetables. You went from 200 to 120, yes, congrats. Portion size was everything. So I'll try my best to keep up with the weigh-ins and not get frustrated and Yeah. Massive amounts of mashed potatoes. Ooh, I love mashed potatoes. My grandma makes the best mashed potatoes. Um, no powdered mashed potatoes. Ew. Hello, Play it's up. ready. She needs the hello, it's ready one. Yes, good for you, Pez. 180 to 126. It's all because the girls. Yeah, like it can go one or two ways. Some people put on weight doing YouTube and watching the girls. Some people lose weight um, watching the girls and just using it almost as motivation. A lot of people find the girls because they're looking for weight loss content and somehow they end up here. <laughs> <laughs> LOL. And then they get trapped in the rabbit hole. A lot of people end up like that. They see this woman. Oh my gosh. Like, I want to see this Amberlynn Reed girl lose weight. She seems so sweet. And then months go by and nothing happens. And eventually you start watching reaction channels. <laughs> Happen to a lot of people. Even the French people. They came in under false pretenses. They were lied to. Somebody lied to you. Well, I don't feel like sharing. That's how Zach found Amber. Yeah, that's how a lot yeah. of people found her. The audacity. So that's what I'm going back to. Back to? You were doing nothing. If she's eating out of that, like, jar, how does she even know the calories? She's just having spoonfuls of that, like, cheese out of a jar. You don't know the calories for that. There's no way she counted the calories accurately for this meal. I mean, it's... There's no way that she did portion sizes for all this. I just don't buy it. She lost her charm. She used to be funny. Yeah, thank you, Trisha. Yeah. Low-calorie drinks. Yup. 
Remember Foodie used to be like so funny. And that was her one, that was her one positive trait. Her one positive trait is that she was genuinely funny sometimes. Now, never. She's just a sad lump. A sad lump. Maybe that should be the live stream title. <laughs> a sad lump. Girl. Basically. Do I like my name? Sure. A real thing. Sorry. It's a regular soda, right? Yeah, she's so miserable now. I don't think she's happy as much as she likes to say that she's happy. Like, there's no... She has her food. And she's still not, like, giddy and happy. Now that she doesn't have her fast food at all. Do you think she's eating fast food behind the scenes and just hiding it? Very, very possible. But maybe Salah's keeping her in line regarding fast food. But she's not even happy to be on here and eat her food. It's like Hungry Fat Chick. She's just going through the motions to get the money. To get that money. That's all it is. I would like more hummus. It's just a I'm job a for her. It's not fun. Sometimes. I may not eat something super healthy. Like every day. Or it may happen that I fall <laughs> off. This is all just empty words from her. I mean, we've seen her do this, do the exact same things as Amber Lynn, the exact same rodeo. This is my new journey. She doesn't even seem enthusiastic about it. And this is day one. Usually Amber likes to pitch it to us, or at least she used to. Now it just seems like she's going through the motions. She doesn't seem excited about her weight loss journeys either. But remember back in the day, Amber would like pitch these journeys. Foodie would pitch her journeys too. Uh, the medical medium. <laughs> she was following the medical medium and she came on and acted like she had learned the secret to weight loss. The top secret. And she was going to do it this time. And she would sell it to us. Octavia sold, sold it to us. Water fast. Foodie. I'm going to do this water fast. This is what I need. I'm finally going to do this. And she made some people believe. And then she did that over and over and over again. And nothing ever changed. And so those believers became non-believers. In that case, I'm going to try to get right back on and not just like go on a, a week, couple weeks long bender. Couple week long blender. You know what I mean? That's what I usually do. Do you know what I mean? That's what I usually do. The girls will do anything but diet and so. exercise. So true. She certainly won't exercise, but then you have to wonder like how safe is it for her? Because it didn't look safe what she was doing with Salah. It looked like she was going to hurt herself. She could only do it for be like two that I eat. 30 seconds on the elliptical. Scary. Just shoving it in. Just shoving it in. I love fudges. Whatever that is. The veggies. She doesn't like veggies. Hours and hours and hours of research for the Octavia, right? That was Octavia. <laughs> she thought that Octavia was going to change her life. It was almost as if she was going to make money off of it. I mean, if she stuck around with it, she probably would have become an MLM hun and started selling it to other people. But what if it worked? I mean, anything that works, if she stuck with it, it would have, the weight would have fell off, melted off. But that's because it was very little calories. 
I wonder if she would have become an MLM hon. Octavia. Another thing that I make really good rice. She loves rice. What another is that about? Good thing that, like, another thing that I find very effective. I mean, big portions of rice. I think people that have BED have an affinity for rice because you always get a lot. It's easy to make a lot. It's easy to order a lot. I've been helping with binge eating. It's having um, well-rounded meals. No, it's you working through this meal. whatever it is that's troubling you from your past. And you're never going to do that. It's you coming to grips with whatever trauma you have from the past that causes this to happen. And working through that. And being at peace with your past. And you'll just never get there because you bury it and bury it and bury it. Pile on more food, more food, more food. Um, Schmedibles, if you're in the Western world or Thailand, wherever you can, any, whatever you could get your hands on, wherever you are. Hookah. Um, suck down that hookah. Otis has like a bit of every food group. Dairy, vegetables, <clears throat> cards. Um, whatever protein. it is. And fats, because I don't think Salah's living this, uh, there. Hummus. I think he's in a different unit. Mm -hmm. I love that different unit conspiracy theory. I'm telling you, you have to try it. If you're eating a meal, use some uh, plain yogurt. Oh, that's what that is, plain yogurt. Especially with rice. Really? Is that the key? Okay, so she can count the calories easy with the... I thought it was like cheese of some kind. <laughs> Like, it looks like cream cheese, but no, that's yogurt. So that's her key to weight loss, guys. Has anyone else tried that? Put a one in the chat if you've tried that. Yogurt on the side with your rice and veggies and meat. Lies on top of lies on top of lies. Chiel Phantom Hive, thank you for being a member for 16 months. OG, OG, OG. Listening to you at work. Love you, Alex. Thank you, Chow. Phantom Hive. Thank you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome. She's an LOL cow gold mind. <laughs> right? So that's why. People have made a lot of money off of these videos. Too bad it's not her. <laughs> <laughs> That's what grinds her gears the most about FFG. You know? Because she doesn't really talk about Amber. And she makes more money than Foodie Beauty does. On her own videos. That's what really grinds her gears. And she's, um... Like, the most popular... Booty Beauty live streamer. And she like completely eviscerates her. So that's why she's so triggered by FFG. I think a lot of it has to do with the money. Otherwise, she wouldn't care. Although, look at like Just Breezin. She really grinds her gears and she doesn't get anywhere near like those views. If I were to eat just like one food group, like um, just the chicken. Like foodie, I'll get 8K and FFG, I'll get like 30K. <laughs> LOL. I think that's funny. I would probably be binging later. Or just the rice. That's because what I said, no, you need so I can't speak on any you need the commentary. As long as the commentary is good, it doesn't matter. Else, and I'm not trying to. 
But for me, how the content that's what is. seems to keep me from not binging. I'm not saying it completely eliminates urges. Because the urges are not only biological hunger. Handful of nuts. But it does definitely help. For sure. Might have some tea later. In a date or two. I Crystal like Station. Still good, really want something sweet. Who's Crystal Station? Do you guys watch her? Scraping the sides. <laughs> her skin looks gray. People always say that, but like, I don't see it. How does it look gray? I'm not getting gray. I'm getting red. Hues of red. Look, and she's still looking off to the side. Like, what's over there, girl? What is over there? I don't see anything over there. <laughs> is Salah judging from a corner? Oh, wait. He's in his unit. He's in his unit. That's what I'm going to keep saying now. Do you guys watch Crystal Station? I like... I don't know who that is, but I kind of know who that is. Like, I know a little bit. I think I know who that is. She looks kind of like Amy Slayton. <laughs> kind of. I don't know. <laughs> is that who that is? Do you guys like the pistachios? I love these, but they're seven fifty. I only buy them sometimes because they're seven fifty is kind of pricey for me. It looks desaturated, the image. That's why she's gray. She has a mirror Day so she can look at herself. Considered a healing, very nutritious. Yeah, is she looking? No, she's not looking at the viewfinder because it's just her phone right in front of her. Superfood. It it's not over there. And they do have a lot of fiber, so that helps with the sugar, but it is still very sweet. So I just have like one, maybe. <laughs> oh, radish? I do have to work on slowing down, but... A little radish? I never seem to realize that until after I'm done eating. <laughs> oh, wait, Crystal's the person that... Um eats fast food in bed with her partner and they yell at each other. Now I remember. I knew I'd seen, seen that person before. Okay, that was very satisfying. It had like literally every food group. Fat, carb. Deep dive on Crystal. Protein, a lot of protein because the chicken, the hummus, hummus is very high protein and the yogurt. So dairy, fruits and veg, well not fruit, but vegetables. I think Crystal Station, kind of like Cobes, if you guys watch Cobes, she's one of those live streamers where it's like really, really, really boring, but then there will be like two minutes of balls to the wall content, and then an hour of boring content, and then two minutes of like something wild happens, and then an hour of boring content. So I think that will be my right. meal. Like I said, I'll maybe have a date and then some tea. Because, you know, after you find after you eat dinner, you crave something sweet. No, I think everyone's like... A date and tea? <laughs> Girl, yeah, go on a date and tell us the tea. I don't think that's what she meant. But uh, that's about it. So thank you for having dinner with me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. You know what she's mad about the most? You know what grinds her gears the most is that she can't cheat. She can't cheat. She's in the Middle East. She really just like 
all of her past boyfriends she have cheat she has cheated on. Pete's BB Natter, if that counts. I mean, they weren't really together. <laughs> but Salah, she can't cheat on him because she could get in major trouble. Plus, she can't leave. Plus, it's just too risky for her to go cheat. So that's why she's mad. She can't just get in the Kia and go cheat. But her man can cheat from the comfort of his own home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Chantal's kicked pork. What's the rest of it? Kicked pork apron, right? Alex, may we get a whitey HB? Hair smells like coconut. It's been too long. Of course you can. Where is it? Where is the coconut oil rant? Here you go. My skin is clear. My makeup is flawless. I am living my best life. I smell, I smell like, like coconut, coconut oil. oil. I smell like coconut oil. I smell like coconut oil. <laughs> Thank you. Chantal's kicked pork apron. I love aprons. I saw a picture on Twitter of Chantal in the bathroom with the peeps in the bathtub. That's what the peeps in the bathtub means for those that didn't see that. But she was completely undressed and there was just emojis on her bits. I can't believe she did that. Like she was a former blank worker. You know what I mean? So, like, she was doing OnlyFans. She was an OnlyFans model. And now that is just not her tea anymore, you know? <laughs> She's not doing OnlyFans anymore. Can you do... No. Did you guys know it's actually illegal for you to do OnlyFans in Kuwait or any kind of adult content? It's illegal in Kuwait. So you can't do, like, adult movies, um, OnlyFans modeling. Maybe you could do tasteful nude modeling, but probably not. I mean, that exists in a legal gray area. You know what's interesting? Or you know what I see on Twitter that just, like, annoys me to no end? Whenever you're looking at, like, a hit tweet or, like, I follow accounts that post about celebrities, like, the latest gossip. And they'll get, like, thousands of likes on the photo, right? Because they're talking about celebrities. People will always post their naked pictures underneath. And I just find it so annoying because sometimes you're in public. Like, these are not adult content tweets. They're just gossip about celebrities. And then you'll see someone flashing their top, you know? It's just annoying to me. Like, I understand you're trying to get OF followers, but, like, time and place. Time and place. Like, keep that on adult section. Yeah, pop base. Yeah. And also, there's, like, kids on Twitter that shouldn't be on Twitter. Twitter should be 18+, plus, but I think it's, like, 13 or 16+. plus. So, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's 16+. plus. But still, they shouldn't be seeing that under, like, a Taylor Swift tweet, you know? <laughs> it's just annoying. And sometimes you're in public or, like, at grandma's. At grandma's scrolling Twitter and like, oh, there's a penis. Oh, there's a vagina, you know. And it's not just one. It's like a hundred. Social media is becoming so explicit in that way. Yeah, it is. Like Instagram as well. I would never look at Instagram at, at my grandma's because I know what my for you page is going to be. <laughs> it's going to be like men in underwear. 
gay men. Probably gay men. Um, do you guys want to watch Glitter Grifter and Lasers? I love me a good grifter and lasers. Too bad there's no Amber video, huh? But we did talk about our girl, didn't we? We made sure to get in that speculation about our girl. Sucking D and C. <laughs> yes. Um, toddy. Toddy, toddy, toddy. Hot toddy. <laughs> Hot toddy. What was... Obese to Beezer talking about. Oh, was he talking about the drama with her? Hates on a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> she was hating on someone that gave her a compliment. Compliment. Do you guys remember that? <laughs> Drake's was unimpressive. It wasn't even hard. Mm hmm. Yup. Maybe let me do like a little break really quickly. Sorry, guys. I just need to pee and blow my nose a little bit. Yeah, Drake's was like, it wasn't small, but it wasn't like its full potential wasn't showing, you know? <laughs> you couldn't see the full potential. Like there was certainly something there. For sure. For sure. Um, you're now one of my elite employees, elite employees, <laughs> but Drake's, some people were saying like Drake probably watches too much adult stuff and that's why he struggles to get, you know, he struggles to pop a tent if that makes sense. Yeah. I'm going to go look at Drake. I'll be back in like five minutes. I'm kidding. All right. BRB, guys. Regardless if we're in a relationship or not. Enjoy this. Like, just because you take out the parts of a relationship that you usually have with someone, why would you take out the best friend aspect? Like, there's no reason for it. Yeah. I guess it just depends on the relationship. I know that when it comes to two females, that is not uncommon that their friend group is the same so they will remain in contact for other people it can be different a man and a woman especially I feel like they part and don't really see each other anymore so we're not breaking up because anything horrible you know neither one of us did each other dirty nope. you know there's no secrets and lies Bad there's nothing blood. as cliche it is, as it is it's literally just sometimes love isn't enough I talked to my family yesterday and I'm just like, I feel like I'm in shock of me finally saying it and telling her and coming to the realization. Cause just early this year, we wanted to get married. We truly did. Yeah. I don't understand that so much. Um, what happened between then and now wasn't that in, was at the end of, um, 2020. You know, I do think that this was accelerated by the pandemic because we all spent our times indoors and some couples made it and some didn't. I mean, you really got to spend 24 seven with your partner sometimes in the very beginning, uh, depending on where you worked and whatnot, things could have been the same for you. But for other people, that wasn't the case. Both working at home, add kids into the mix. I can't imagine it. Luckily, I didn't have to. Or else I wouldn't have proposed because you can ask Amber Lynn whenever I first, you know, me and her first started talking, I was just so heavily against like marriage and all that stuff. And I kept telling her for years, I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to get married. I don't know. I don't know. But it's just like, you know, around November, December last year, you know, I felt it in my heart. I'm like, I want to marry her. They do say that after you lose a loved one of that magnitude, you should wait a full year until you make any um, very important decisions. That's something that a therapist will tell you or like a life counselor will tell you that. Doesn't mean that that's what you need. 
just because you want it doesn't mean you need it and we shouldn't have to listen to your guys's crap I feel like Becky got into this relationship knowing, you know, what she was getting into, knowing the things that Amberlynn was doing online and the reaction that the community had to it. I do have to say, you know, Becky, this is going to follow you for a very long time. Um, it's unfortunate. I mean, look where Destiny is. People still want to know what she's doing. Dana even got roped into it. And for what? the whole told you so's and whatever else you have to say it's not Did you needed. guys see my and underwear I'm not trying to be rude i was just talking to the people who are horrible i don't know i mean <laughs> i don't know if you guys could see my underwear or not big are you calling me big yeah why am i talking like that in this live stream beck was totally or this video <laughs> why am i talking like that beck was totally capping she lied so much like well she's with her abuser so she can't say anything yet but Beck was not telling the truth are you playing FF7 yes I love it I actually stopped playing it to come on the live stream so, you know, I'm here to entertain y'all. <laughs> oh, crap. What's happening? Why did that do that? It like disappeared. <laughs> no. What the hell? That is so weird. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Go over here. What was obese to beezer? Do you guys watch obese to beezer? That's so weird that that's happening. Oh, shit. Oh, shoot. I always do that. I was hitting a button. Bring dress. I was holding down the option key by accident with my soundboard. And I thought my computer was having a fit. <laughs> Let's watch this from Glitter and Lasers. <laughs> What else does she have? What options do we have here? From Glitter and Lasers. Put Becky back on. No. That was me. Back. Back. Okay. Last we looked was this home gym essentials, and it was so bad we only got through like three minutes. And then we talked about her drama regarding she was upset because she was, Anna, was running in the park and someone was like, it's good to see you out here or something like that. And she was like, I'm always out here. Are you just saying that because I'm big? She was really upset. Really, really upset. And now she's back with plus size try on haul spring dresses from Torrid or spring plus size Lane Bryant. Which one do you prefer? We're probably only going to watch one. So let's do a poll. How did she get this many followers? I think from viral shorts. Shorts that went viral. Okay, glitter and lasers. How could you say that I'm doing a good job? <laughs> Torrid or Lane Bryant? <laughs> Torrid or Lane Bryant? That's funny. Torrid is like the young adult Lane Bryant, right? 
Whereas Lane Bryant, it's more middle-aged, right? I mean, that's their target audience. Do you guys like the rosy lips? This is so good. The Vaseline Rosy Lips. Not sponsored. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> What's with me getting the burps on the live streams lately? And Baby Torrid Queen. For real, like they're the most East Lansing thing. What the heck is East Lansing? Is that a Michigan thing? Like Lansing, Michigan. <laughs> Lane By Bryant has been around for a hundred years. Was it always like plus size? You need some? You should get it. I just love it so much. It has like a really faint smell. It smells like rose petals. But it's very faint. It's amaze balls. It's okay. Like, I don't know why I'm hyping it up so bad. It's worth the price. It's like $3, I think. East Lansing, Michigan. Yeah, Michigan. Yeah, like Michigan. If you're from Africa, why are you white? I'm from Michigan. Oh, sorry. Okay, most people want to watch Torrid. That was a quote from Mean Girls, if you were confused. <laughs> if you're from Africa, why are you white? Oh my gosh, Karen, you can't just ask people why they're white. I don't know if y'all feel... Okay, here we are. I love watching her little... Does she get paid by Torrid? I want to know if she gets paid by Big Pharma because she shills Wagovi and talks about Wagovi, which is the same thing as Ozempic. It's just marketed more weight loss and Ozempic is marketed for diabetes and weight loss. Um, is she shilling for Big Pharma? Like, does that make her a Big Pharma shill? Should we avoid her at all costs? Well, here we are. What do you guys think about the people like shilling substances like Ozempic on TikTok? Because it is a little weird for them to be shilling influencers to be shilling like pharmacy drugs on social media and TikTok. I find that dystopian and very like late stage capitalism. Like, influencers telling you to take drugs from the pharmacy. It's kind of weird. It's kind of cyberpunk. This way, but I feel like this year is just going by so fast. Like, can you believe it's almost Easter? I feel like they say that every single year. This is going by so much faster than last year. They say that every year. People say that every year. Yes, she has a deal with... Novo Disc, Novo Nordisk. So she is definitely a big pharma shell. It's insidious to me. It just is. Like, at what cost are you going to take this money, girl? She'll take money from anybody. Like, you got the check? You got the checkbook? She's ready. Dystopian. Yup, yup. And Ozempic, there's so many lawsuits. What about the lawsuits saying Ozempic paralyzes the stomach? Are people not worried about that? People just don't hear about it or they ignore it. They want to get skinny. What I don't understand is if you're a normal BMI, why would you get Ozempic with the side effects being what they are? The possibilities, you know? Not to mention, most people, like, when they're starting it out, they feel sick. So you're telling me that you're willing to, like, feel sick 
possibly have these issues with your stomach just to go from a normal BMI to underweight because you're sick, you're mentally ill, you know, because that's what it is. I don't know. They need to go to a psychiatrist slash psychotherapist, not get the Ozempic. Why are these doctors giving like the Kardashians Ozempic? Well, it's just money, right? When they're a normal BMI and they want to get even skinnier and there's diabetics that can't even find it. They have to go to five different pharmacies. They're probably paying a premium here. And I was sitting there thinking about this the other day and I was like, I haven't done like any spring dresses yet. So I'm fixing that today. We are doing a massive torrid Easter dress, spring dress. Okay, she's looking like a Easter egg hunt. <laughs> it is almost Easter already. Not really. It's a whole month away. Well, it's at the end of the month, right? The Kardashians used a tan injection. Where do I get that? No. What's the side effects for that? Is it completely 100% safe? Because that would be less annoying than um, using my tanning spray all the time. I'm just looking for the date for Easter. It's the 31st, right? Yeah. Okay. So a month away. It's still a month away. <sighs> One month till Easter, folks. spring break dress haul. I mean, I got all the dresses that fit in one of those categories and we're gonna try them on together. With that, let's get into it. <laughs> Lavender is just- Yeah, girl, let's get right into it. I mean, shall we? Just yummy. It's just a yummy, yummy color. And I love this one. It's got the nice kind of puff sleeve. What? There's a nasal spray to tan? Nasal spray tanning? What? Okay, do you guys li like this one? This is the very first dress. Very first dress. She's got the, like a very light violet, a pastel purple, if you will. Very Easter. I'm kind of digging it. It's got a kind of clip dot embroidery to it, so it has a little bit of texture. And this looks like it's a midi dress. It's a really great cut for any body type because all torrid all the time torrid definitely makes those like insecurity dresses you know what i mean specifically cinched kind of at the waist right and then it doesn't cinch all the way down it cinches like right under your breasts and then it goes out so it kind of hides everything okay okay we're having that line right under the bodice. Yeah, it looks good for Anna, I think. I would be the best boyfriend, you think so? A straight boyfriend? I would take her out and pay. I'm paying. I wouldn't pull any of that 50-50 bullshit with ya. <laughs> Do you guys think that's bullshit if your man asks you out and then is like... Let's do 50-50. I would scoff. Um, I would not be putting out that night. No sorry, no sir how. If you want to do 50-50. Mm -mm. I'll pay, sure, but I'm not putting out. Randy Bear, welcome to Sugars. How are you doing? Welcome! Some nice little details around the neck and yeah i just thought it was really cute it's very sweet this is a sweet dress this is like this would be a really good first straight date dress like wear it for easter and then wear it for some guy you met on hinge right <laughs> whatever the case i thought it was cute you can also wear it on shoulder or off so i'll show you both in the try on 
if this isn't the most Easter dress I've ever seen, it is pastel perfection. I literally, I literally feel like I'm ready for an Easter egg hunt. And I, per yeah, girl, the sleeves. I feel like that would look really cute in like a toddler size for a toddler. <laughs> I want to get my niece that. They probably saw that. You know what I have noticed? Clothes from Torrid a lot of the time look like baby clothes, right? Do you guys know what I mean? They look like baby's clothes. No joke. Personally, I think I would do it like this. That would be so cute on a toddler. A lot of the time they do. She's a little bit wild. Okay, another color that just screams, screams, screams spring is this like bubblegummy pink. You're right. Amber needs that dress. Amber has not done a Torrid haul in a long time. What is Amber going to do if she stops posting? Like... She's not posting at all. Her check next month is going to be light, 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 light. Like she's not going to make that much money at all. I think she's making just enough that she can get by just so she can get by. And she doesn't have anything outside of YouTube. Like that's it. YouTube, that's it. All right. Here's the pink one. It's also giving cute for a toddler. It is that like, not, it's a little bit more than pastel, right? It's got a little bit more saturation, but I love this color pink and I love this style dress. I've actually had this style dress from Tord before. Mm-hmm. Amber's going to go broke. Mm-hmm. Luckily, Glitter and Lasers has rich parents, so she doesn't really have to worry about that. She always has a um, parachute if something happens. She always has that parachute. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice to not have to worry, to be able to pursue whatever you want without having to worry if it fails, like you being on the street, you know, you don't have to worry about that at all because your parents will just pay. I wish I had that. <laughs> they seem to bring it back pretty much every season. Why I love this dress so much is it's just so easy to style. You can throw on a belt or like a denim jacket or even a biker jacket and really bring this to life. Also layering it over a tee is a super cool way to wear it. And the pink color makes it fresh, right? Oftentimes we pull for dresses like this in black, but screw it, it's spring. We'll wear it in a pretty pink instead. It's giving moo moo. They always have, you guys said that was an empire cut. They're all cut like that, where it cinches under the chest. That's how they're all cut. Well, that I have seen so far. Can we, little, can we get a little bit different? I feel like that's what Amber likes from the Torrid dresses. Plus, since Barbie happened, pink is pretty much a neutral now, right? <laughs> She loves to look like a child. Yeah. I kind of get that vibe too. She dresses very young. Sometimes. I mean, sometimes she dresses age appropriate and sometimes she looks like a teenager. I'm in a neutral right now. <laughs> okay. Little details I noticed when putting this on. This is a cute little like mini cowl neck here at the bust line. So that's going to give you a little zhuzh for the lady. And sometimes she looks like a baby. Not gonna lie, like a literal baby. Ladies, and I love the pleated skirt. Cringe. I think this is a home run, guys. I think this is a home run. Go back to the run. jeans. Oh, the twirl. Such a nice twirl. I love a good twirl. All right, let's now get the next one. Now we're going to. I'm over that one already. The florals. Florals for spring. She's a Nepo baby. Her family's hella wealthy. Really? Her family's hella wealthy. How wealthy are we talking? Like, okay, definitely millionaires. I feel like millionaire isn't even like anything anymore. <laughs> I mean, it's a hell of a lot more than I got, but millionaire is middle class now. Like, that's where we're at. So, what are they, multi millionaires? 
ground is it groundbreaking how groundbreaking i can't remember the line i should remember the line but now we're gonna go through a bunch of florals because yeah spring is all about the flowers blooming so they should bloom all over us too so we're gonna start subtle this i really thought was an interesting take oh my goodness va va boom that's a short one isn't it you don't want to bend it over you don't want to drop the pencil, drop the soap. You don't want to drop the soap in that one, huh? It's a little bit more of a boho vibe. You might give the people an eye, Phil. Have to, uh, you don't want to have to reach for that Easter egg all the way in the tree or the one that's hidden in the bushes. Then kind of a traditional, like, Easter floral. Now, I, I will know. say right away... You're going to need some shorts. Hey, this is probably going to be too short on me, right? Yeah. I am a tall girl. I'm aware of that. She gets But I'm it. also aware that my height is not the she average. She gets it. I am what is her height? Above average height. So this will probably work great for everyone except my tall girlies. Um, Does anyone have a height for her? I'm going to guess like 5'10", right? She's not like 6' foot or anything, but she's above average. So like 5'10", I would guess. But I'm not a hundred on that. You need to scrub your chin. My chin. Is that what that is? I don't know if that's a red spot or a tan. Do you guys see my chin? <laughs> Do you guys see my chin? <laughs> I'll have to look at that extra close. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Probably tan. Five ten, seven two, right? She's seven two. She is six foot. No, uh, lies. Let me Google. Maybe I mean you can find everything on Google, right? Um, or my tall girlies who like to show a little bit of leg. I'm not one of those. <laughs> Hide the legs. Don't hide them. I just, uh, I like to wear bike shorts under my dresses most of the time. And if you can see them, it's just not a cute look. Anyway. Okay. Google says 5'9". But these websites are like notoriously inaccurate. It also says that she's 330 pounds. It says 150 kg or 330 pounds. 150 kg, that's not 330, is it? What's 150 kg in pounds? It's 330.5. It is 330. Okay. I stand corrected. But that would mean she was the similar weight, a similar weight to what Chantal is claiming. But I don't think so. They're like both 400. <laughs> this can be worn on the shoulder or off. Nice puff sleeve. It's actually very similar to the purple dress in terms of style. But it does have some more smocking at the back. So that's going to make it very comfortable. And it does have a little bit more of a curved hem underneath the bust. This is more of a chalice. Okay, come through curved hem. <laughs> How tall am I? 5'6". Yeah, Chantal's really short. She's 5'1". Material. And yeah, I just thought it was really cute. Okay, I was 100% wrong about this dress. <laughs> I'm adorable in it. It is the perfect length for a short dress. And honestly, totally and completely obsessed with this one. Now we're getting into the more traditional... Okay, dress. I think this might be an an unpopular opinion, but I think foodie foodie is smaller than people think. Like I would guess her to be 380 right now because she's so short. She's five foot or five one, somewhere between there. And that's really short. And she carries all of her weight in her midsection, most of it. So I don't think she is actually 400. I think she's like 380. 
and she's actually smaller than people think because she is so short. And I mean, that's a big problem for her because of her stamina, because of her really short legs. It makes it so hard for her to walk. But 380 on 5'1 is a lot of weight on such a small frame. It really is. Like, people underestimate what 380 looks like. Like, that's a lot. And um, fat, like, five pounds of fat is a lot, like, big. Like, have you ever seen that? Someone hold up five pounds of fat? It's, like, this big. Just five pounds. So, distribute that. Like spring I don't florals. Know. And you know what? I love me a granny floral. And I will love them till the day I die. You will have to rip them out of my cold, dead hands. Because there is something just chic about this, like, couch-esque style print. I don't know what it is. I don't know. People are wondering, um... Or people are talking in the chat. How tall is ALR? Some people say 5'4", 5'1", 5'3", 5'2". How tall is ALR for real? 5'2", I think. What it is, why I love it so much, but I do. I also feel it's, it's, it's just like sweet and like serene. And also Chantal, like she's starting to like everything is going down, you know, as you get older, everything just begins to sag and become less and less, like it begins to, gravity, gravity begins to take shape. <laughs> Why can I not explain this? Everything just begins to sag. You get what I mean. And gravity does its magic. So everything just like melts down. And if you go on Twitter, you can see a picture of her in the bathtub. Takes its toll. Yeah. <gasps> there it is. <laughs> Who is this? Hot Wasabi. If you guys know Hot Wasabi, they posted this picture of Chantal in the bathtub with the peeps. Peeps. Did Pete's take these? <laughs> no. Um, she's probably just using a timer on her phone. But it would be funny to think of Pete's taking these. I can't even look at this. Like, to go from this to covering every inch of her body with a hijab and an abaya is just wild to me. I mean, she was completely nude. Young, wild, and free. And now she won't even show her hair. She'll barely even show her fingers. Just kidding. <laughs> like, she won't even show her upper arm. Ew, get it off, get it off, get it off. Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. <laughs> Like, this girl wants to read a book in a cabin by the lake, and I... Good night, Lillian. ...in my head want to be that girl. So, I love this one. We've got pockets. It's midi. It's a fit and flare with a um, ruched bodice, so it really works for every body type. It's I think that when it comes to glitter and lasers, if you go and watch her Instagram or TikTok, she's always working out. She's always portraying... This gym girly lifestyle, I think it's mostly BS. Like, yes, she does go to the gym, but I think a lot of it is for content. She's not going to the gym every day, getting her work on, workout on um, for her health. She's going to the gym like once a week to do some content, to do gym content. And she's not eating appropriate portions 
It's just not the tea. It is just not the tea. I think she's lying a lot. She's lying a lot. It has adjustable straps. And again, you can layer things over and under it really simply. But yeah, it's cute. And I love this blue. Like this cornflower blue is a... Like Whitney Way Thor. I don't really follow Whitney Way Thor, but I do know who that is. She had a TV show on TLC that I haven't really seen a lot in floral. So I feel like this is kind of a fresh colorway. And I I really like this one. Out of probably all the spring florals we're going to look at, fresh this one color might way. be my favorite. I have okay. like such a clear... I don't mind that one, Your image actually. of who this girl is. She's wearing into those straw hats, but they're not on her head. They're like on her back with like the tie around her neck. She's definitely got a boyfriend named like Reginald or something old timey like that. Reginald, girl. <laughs> Is she talking about some sort of old money couple? I feel like that's a name that old money would call their child. Reginald. Ugh. I would be so mad if my name was Reginald. I'm sorry if your name's Reginald or if your husband's name is Reginald. Anybody in the chat is anybody's husband's name Reginald. Let's get a one in the chat. And she likes to sit on a plaid blanket in the park and like pick wildflowers and read I feel old that. books. That's who this girl is. She reads Jane Austen every year at springtime. She reads Jane Austen. It's like mm -hmm. very clear. Y'all, if you have never tried the Torrid Super Soft Dresses, you are missing out because they are, as the name implies... Oh my gosh, we really have a Reginald husband in the chat. Super soft. Now, I saw this one because I was thinking... <laughs> are you lying? St. Patrick's Day is also coming up, and this baby is going to make them green with MB. I love this Kelly green. It is just mwah, the perfect green, especially if you are warm toned. This is just going to make your skin pop. As you can tell, I am a warm toned person. So this color oh. is perfect. Okay. I don't mind that green. That's pretty nice. For me, might be perfect for you too. Adjustable straps, pockets. But what I really love about these is they really are the softest. I love wearing these over swimsuits. This one's really giving ALR vibes to me. Like, it just looks like something she would wear in 2019. In the bed. Probably keep it on for like three days in a row. But it's a cute dress. As kind of like my cover-up. <laughs> or if I know I want to like go to the beach and then maybe go to like a little shack for some food or something. This is a the little type of dress shack put over it. Now I have this amazing green print, but then I also got a similar dress in a different print that may work for some of you that this green just didn't, you know, pique your interest. I think this is really cute and I love how. Okay. Pique your interest. What did I do today? What did I do today? So today, I had to go pick up my car. Um, I dropped it off at the... Hi, Barb. I dropped my car off at the service center because it had to get something replaced. It was literally $1,500. I was so pissed because it was one of those unexpected expenses. I've never had anything wrong with my car where it was more than $200, right? which is fine, but this time it was 1500 And so I picked up my car. I had to take an Uber. Ooh, I hate Ubers so much. Hate Ubers. And pretty much for the rest of the day, I ate. I ate at home today. I didn't go out and get any takeout or anything. And played with my dogs. <laughs> so it was... I don't really know what it was. It was like under the car. They told me, um, so they have this thing that is like recommended service versus required service. So the required service was 1500 The recommended service, get this, was 3300 I was like, fuck no. <laughs> Hell no, am I paying that?
I might as well. That's a down payment, a good down payment on a new one. I'm not paying that for what? So I had to get the required because I was doing my state inspection and they wouldn't pass it without doing the required. So basically I had to pay this money. Like it sucked. Pissed me off. Pissed me off. Anyways, my Uber was only $10, so that's not too bad. What kind of car? Scion. How much volume is in the skirt? I know, Sometimes scamming. Sometimes they're a little bit more column-like, and this one... They probably are scamming. Definitely has, like, a drama to it. Am I the drama? In it's not a sketchy place, though, guys. It's um, Toyota. Like, it's the official Toyota place. <laughs> So if there's me, I would be a little surprised. It is more expensive, though, because you pay for the genuine parts. But then you know it's going it's going to work and they're going to do it right because they work on Toyotas like that's their bread and butter. And um, Scion is Toyota. So I don't know. It's kind of worth it for the peace of mind, but I wasn't expecting to to spend that much. This dress I am. <laughs> okay, this floral is another couch floral. Oh, love me a couch floral. This is out of a chalice print um, or a chalice fabric. And that looks like Foodie Beauty's yellow dress. I love the little ruffles <laughs> on this. The yellow dress. Did you Uber to Erewhon? Oh my gosh. I want to go to Erewhon. Sleeve. Where, is that only in California? Or... Is there one in, like, D.C. or Philly? Surely there's one in New York, right? Get any new Ivy League sweatshirts? I might go to New York. So then I'll get that one. What's that one? Columbia? No. I don't know. Cars aren't cheap. I know. Cars are not cheap. And everything, like, went up these past couple of years. I kind of want to get a new car, but I don't know. It's going to be, like, 700 a month, 500 for the car payment, 200 for the insurance. So I don't really want to pay that. I'd rather go on vacation with that money, you know? They're so sweet. This definitely gives coquette vibes. You could put a ribbon around the waist and like little ribbons in your hair and it would be just like a little doll, like a precious little doll. Again, we have a fit and flare skirt that does have a little bit of a ruffle at the bottom. So again, definitely perfect if you wanna have like that cutesy girl vibe and the colors are just so sweet. This girl also reads a book by the lake. She definitely does. She probably- That one's cute. Like it's asked out a little bit more cause I feel like she's a little bit sassier. Can she get the yellow dress that Chantal made famous? That was from Torrid. I might be wrong. That was definitely from Torrid. I think the blue one could get asked out a lot more, but she, like, doesn't want it. This girl, she's secretly flirting with you. Which, if you didn't know, coquette is a term for a woman who, like, leads men on to get what they want. So, yeah. Coquettish. Coquettish. Yes, coquettish vocabulary lesson for the day. <laughs> Thank you, Glitter. There's like this really sweet lady on Instagram Reels that does like, she's like your auntie something. I forget what her name is. But she was so sweet. I had to follow her. She was doing um, like vocabulary lessons, like <laughs> a new word. <laughs> she was so sweet. It's like auntie something. I feel... Like I'm going to go for a picnic on the British countryside. That's what came to my head. It's giving Laura Ashley. It's giving expensive. It's giving, I have a house in the country. I do not. Yeah, is she manipulating men? I'm not really getting that vibe from her. She's manipulating mommy and daddy. Because she has her dad, like, wrapped around her finger. Auntie Bay or Auntie Bev. Bev, yeah. Bev. Coquette. 
Wait, yeah, I want to look up coquette so we can get, like, the real definition. <laughs> a woman who flirts. Okay. That's just the basic definition. On Google.com. Croquettes. <laughs> yeah, more like it. I, but I would like one. Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> it's good. Yo, when I saw this on the website, I was like, oh, it's so like Stevie Nicks. And I am seeing it in real life. And I don't like it. I'm going to try it on for you because that's what we do oh here. Oh, my. Things, but that's giving like Amish. Oh Amish wedding dress. <laughs> no, the neckline is too far down. It is a mix of lace and chalice fabric. And it just, it's not my vibe. What happens? Cinnamon Toast and Zachary Michael drama. What's the Cinnamon Toast Ken Zachary Michael drama? Fill and me it doesn't in. have that like whimsy that I thought it would have. I think it just kind of looks sad. And the color also kind of makes it feel dirty. Mormon wedding. Like it's like it's not quite cream. Yeah, like a Mormon wedding. Interesting. <laughs> it's kind of giving that movie where they all wear white and she's screaming the... Yeah, I forget what it's called. Ugh, Midsummer. It's giving Midsummer. It's not quite white and it's not quite beige enough. It's just in this like... And it also reminds me of like cheap lace. Actually, this probably is cheap lace. It just, it ain't it. It had potential, but it just did not deliver. I real. Did Cinnamon Toast do another Amber Lynn video? Realized why I hate this dress. It feels like a bad '80s dress. And also, just this. <laughs> This seam right here is just cruel and unusual punishment. Ken has a younger wife and got caught out after he said teen category on adult. Sight is weird. Mm, mm. Well, how, how young is his wife? And how old is he? Y'all know? And all of you watching this deserve better. I guess I could look it up myself <laughs> and not be lazy. This dress. If you are settling for this dress, maybe ask yourself why. Because you deserve better. <laughs> I just... ALR apologist. Oof. Oh... When he emailed Zach back. Wait, Zach and Ken were emailing? For what? Did, did Zach send him an email because he was upset with something? Or was he trying to fill him in on certain ALRT? Serve better. The stuff I do for you. Y'all, this dress. Uh, I love it. I mean, if she was 19, then yeah, you can't call someone a PDF, no matter how old they are. If they're 19. You could say it's weird, if that's your opinion. I do think that that age difference is a little strange. 19 and 28. But it's definitely not PDF. You can't say that. Um... gradient i love the gradient of the skirt i want to show you guys that up close if you're from texas all i can think is the yellow rose of texas because that's what this feels like it has cute little ruffles this is sweet this would be so cute for like a little bridal shower or like a bridesmaids event like that could be really fun like going out it's just sweet what do you guys think of that age? So that's Cinnamon Toast Ken, his woman. I guess there was a little bit of drama. People were talking shit because 
he met his woman when she was 19 and he was 28. So that's nine years. What do you guys think about that? Um, do you think that that's strange or normal? Zach jokingly said to credit him for covering Alabama preppers and Ken took offense. Mary emailed Zach saying things were okay, but Ken didn't seem to think so. Wait, where did you guys get this from? Like, he said that in a video? Ken got a video idea from Zach, and Zach reached out to say he wanted to do collab and would have loved to shout out. But Ken didn't want to, I guess I'm getting from that. Where was Ken talking about this? Or was it just Zachary talking about it? Were they on a live stream? You think it's kind of gross? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do think that age difference is a little weird. I mean, 19, you're like just out of high school one year out of high school. And 28 is like an adult out of college and fully adult. I don't know. But it's not a PDF. Like, let's just make that clear. Oh, Ken commented on his video. Oh, interesting. I'll have to look. I'll have to go through every video and find the drama. <laughs> but... Back in the day, I would say that was pretty normal. Back in like the 60s, 70s, or before that. A lot of the times, the male was like 10 years older. I mean, as long as they're 18, like... It's legal. But... <laughs> doesn't mean it's not a little side-eye stitch type deal. Or maybe even more than a side eye. There is a power dynamic there. Like, I know, because when I was 19, I was talking to men that were like 30, 40. And there was something wrong with these men, clearly. But that's actually very common in the gay lifestyle for these like young twinks. 19, 20, 21, to be talking to these older men. And it's almost like unwritten rule that, of course, the men should be like paying for everything for the twinks. The men should be paying for everything, maybe even buying gifts. It's almost like an unwritten arrangement. Like you don't even need an arrangement to know that that's the arrangement. You know, but yeah, there definitely is a power dynamic between 19 and 28, especially like money for sure. Like you're going to have a lot more money at 28 than you would at 19. You're not going to have like jack shit at 19, <laughs> depending, unless you have like an inheritance that you got at 18, but usually they wait till like 25, right? To get your trust fund. I don't know. <laughs> Didn't have one. I'd say it's cute for Rush, but I know nothing about Rush. And I don't even know if that happens in March or when that happens. Because I did not rush. I was not cool enough for that. I... Oh, okay. Thank you for sharing, Lindy. So Ken treated her differently. Better, you mean? So he wasn't like that? Like your experience. Because, yeah, remember Chantal? Um, Chantal was 16 dating that 40-year-old French man, which is completely disgusting and illegal and PDF and whatever word you can think of. He should be, like, charges and listed for that. But a lot of people just get away with shit. 
or I don't know, maybe it is 16 in Canada. I still think it's disgusting and wrong, but I'm not sure how the Canadian law works in regards to that. But Chantal would would um, glamorize it and fetishize it, you know, when she was talking about this guy. And she said the other day that she didn't know until recently. Like, she didn't come to that conclusion until recently that it was wrong. Until hundreds of people told her that it was wrong since she shared it on YouTube, which for me, I mean, I figured out these things were wrong when I was like 24, 25, the things I did when I was like 19, 20. But she was like 37 when she figured it out. (laughs) Girl. was too interested in actually my school didn't even have rush but i don't i don't i don't think i would have been let in <laughs> i'm just not a rush girly but maybe you could wear this to rush if you are a rush girly props to you um i think because i didn't have it in my school i just don't understand it yeah ken and mary are happy and it looks healthy that's good that's good for them i'm not like trying to shed on their whole relationship you know They were both adults. I'm happy that they're happy and healthy. But could you wear this to Rush? I'd like to know. I feel like I'm a Disney princess. Okay, I'm kind of over this. I can't even, like, look at it anymore. Let's look at the various dresses. We've got the blue. This looks like something my grandma had as a nightgown in 1998. No joke. This one does too. They're all grandma's 90s. Right? This feels a little bit country. And honestly, oh my gosh. I'm seeing it here. You put. Is this the one that she wore in her Beyonce TikTok? Like a brown leather belt, a little cowboy boot, a little heel. Yup. This feels Texas. This feels very Texas. Now that I can see the style in my head, this is a Texas girl. This ain't Texas. This dress is a certified banger. Like this is. It ain't no hoe down. Five. If I ball it up and put it in my suitcase, and this one, it would not survive. No. We're gonna end with a dress. Ball it up and put it in a suitcase. Ooh, I wonder, with those kind of dresses, like. You would have to think that would take a lot of space in a suitcase. She probably needs multiple luggage pieces for a seven-day vacation. But she seems like the type to go on 14-day vacations because she's got it like that. (laughs) Everything is an ad. Yeah. dress that has nothing floral to it and feels very different than anything else. And that's because I know some of you are my goth girlies and I still want to have your back. Yeah, she is from Texas. Oh, shoot. Look at that one. That's the last one. Okay, here's the last one, folks. A little sassy, but very cute. I've got it in full there sex spot mode, but I'm going to I'm gonna class it up for the end. <laughs> I remember I was like 120 pounds. And I caught my friends making fun of me wearing horizontal stripes and saying I looked fat in horizontal stripes at 120 pounds. <laughs> it's not what you guys came to see. But I do really like that you can open it. Um, yeah, this is not goth. Just because it's black and white stripes. like It's a very comfortable dress. And I think it's a very like sexy dress. And then- Oh, Sailor. Sailor is like the blue and white. Navy blue. That's what I was wearing. A sailor t-shirt, blue and white stripes with like a little logo. I think it was maybe Jack Wills or American Eagle or something. Anyone who was like looking at this being like, you shouldn't wear horizontal stripes. So like a little eagle. Shut up. (laughs) Because you should 100% wear horizontal stripes. I mean. Oh, there she goes. And look how good I look. Eh, You can look this good too. 
She almost looks like an optical illusion. You do look this good already. Like, it kind of hurts your eyes to look at it, like, for too long. What's going on? Like, my eyes are hurting. <laughs> Maybe that's just my eye. <laughs> Obviously, they're not in the best condition. You just may not think it. Yeah. <laughs> Have I seen the movie 13? Oh, yeah. I love the movie 13. That was so good. That's a favorite of mine. I'll watch it every now and again. Hit me. Hit me. <laughs> no bra, no panties. No bra, no panties. No bra, no panties. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to need to sit down for a second because that was a lot of dresses. But my friend used to say that all the time. If you don't have a dress in here that you like, I don't, I can't help you. Cause I literally got everything I liked. Like every single one that even was like remotely maybe going to work. I showed you guys because that's what I do for you here. I try it out so you can make better decisions when you're shopping. So links Hit to me. everything are down below. Again, if you want to see that like spaghetti strap dress styling video, I'm, I'm just going to make it. Okay. That's it for that one. My loneliness is killing me. Because <laughs> I have so many ideas right now. Um, but yeah, if you want to see that video, let me know down below. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And as and I always you guys say, in the peace. Next one. And that's it. And that's it, folks. Who's that? Ariana drama. Interesting. What's the drama with Ariana? Is she drunk? People say that she's drunk in like every single one. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she just acts like that because she can't possibly be drunk in every single one. I mean, or maybe that's the thing for her. Maybe she takes like two shots to ease the pressure of it. I know there was a time I did that before live streams. I would just take two quick shots. Because I was nervous. But I didn't want to go like overboard. Where it's like you're obviously drunk. I don't know. Thoughts on Wendy Williams. I'm scared for her. So Wendy's son actually came out and said that her dementia. She was diagnosed with dementia was alcohol induced and it's this whole situation they did a documentary wendy was supposed to be a big part of this documentary i believe but she backed out and i think she signed up for it while she was dealing with dementia or alcohol or both you know so I think she tried to get out of the contract or maybe they did let her go. I'm not sure. She also, her money was frozen. This I thought was weird. So Wells Fargo, her bank, actually stepped in and said, you need a financial conservatorship. And they were able to petition a judge, I guess with the help of a doctor, to have her assets like frozen until she got a financial conservatorship, a financial someone to take care of that, which I thought was crazy. Like a bank can just do that. I don't really have a relationship with my bank in person. <laughs> I guess some people do, but now that they have like check cashing on your phone, I don't really have a reason to go in person at the bank. But if you're like a multimillionaire, I'm sure there's something that you do. What do you do? Oh, this is the empty. It's not working at all. I have to throw it out. I should go to Lush tomorrow. I'm going to the mall tomorrow. A nice mall, a bougie mall in Delaware. 
my favy. Your bank is in a different state. How does that work out? <laughs> Do you have a credit union? Or just like a regular bank? That's all over the country. A lot of people say to do credit unions, you should do credit unions, but I never had a credit union. They just gave us a bank or like they told us to get this bank in college. So I just stuck with that. (laughs) Haven't been to Lush in forever. I love Lush. It's like my favorite. Well, I only get specific things. Like, I'm not washing my face with Lush products because I need specific face products or I will break out. So I can't use Lush on my face, except for the masks. Mask is fine, but not, like, facial scrub. No, I'd probably break out. I do like their bath bombs, though, and I like the masks. And I like the spray and I like the hair balm. I think that's what it is, like a balm. They were what they were right to block any initial withdrawals in case, but as soon as she confirmed it was fine, it should have been that. Yeah, the bank. That was weird. Yeah, if there's like weird charges. That's kind of just regular protocol for them to freeze it until you call them and confirm like, oh yeah, that was me. That was me. He, he, he. I was like worried my card wouldn't go through for my car because I don't know if I've ever bought anything that was that expensive, (laughs) but it went through fine. Lush is ethically sourced and handmade. Nice. Ethically sourced. That's hard to come by these days, huh? It's full of fragrance. Yeah. Yeah, so I wouldn't use it for, like, cleaning my face, but just for, like, a mask stitch. It's very natural. Like... You can't go wrong with natural. But if you're allergic to that, then you're going to be allergic to this. So be careful. You're hella allergic. Yeah, that's what I mean. A lot of people, you have to look at the ingredients and just make sure I'm not allergic to this XYZ. I never found out what I was allergic to. I... There was a couple times I washed my hands using hand soap. I think it was lavender. And my hands got these little bumps all over it. And it started peeling. It was so gross. And I think it might have been lavender. But I believe I used something from Lush with lavender in it and nothing happened. So maybe it wasn't the lavender. Still don't know what it is. But it was a hand soap that did it to me. Arsenic is natural. What's arsenic exactly? I don't know. Yeah, do an allergy test. Yeah, I did an allergy test before. I don't know if she tested me for lavender or not. (laughs) But I was allergic. She was surprised, my allergist. I was literally allergic to everything. Because they poke your back. I got the back poke thing done. And almost all of them were red. (laughs) Every dot. But I was also... I had very bad eczema at the time. So that might have been part of it. Or I was just allergic to everything. Trees, dogs, cats, tree nuts. I don't know. But I have dogs. I've always had dogs. And it's not like I'm dying of allergies, you know. Sometimes I am, but I don't think it's from the dogs. 
<laughs> no Sunday stream. There will be a Sunday stream. There will be. I just needed to do a stream today because I've been telling you guys, like, I was going to go live on my birthday and then I was going to go live the day after my birthday, which I should have. I should have went live yesterday, really. But I don't know. Or Thursday. I should have went live Thursday. So I just wanted to come on. It's getting really late and I'm starting to feel it in my voice. Hear it in my voice. I did kind of want to watch Hungry, but I'm too beat. Way too beat to do Hungry right now. Mary Kay. <clears throat> Is Mary Kay an MLM? Or no? Kind of, right? Let's do Phasmophobia. In VR, oh my gosh, I can't do that right now. I'm too tired. I'm probably going to go right to sleep. Did I get laid on my birthday? <laughs> birthday sex. Birthday sex. How does that go? It's your birthday, so I know you want to ride. <laughs> ride. All right, guys. I got to go ahead and get off. Thank you so much for joining me for tonight's live stream. I better get to bed. I'm starting to lose my voice and I am getting like really tired. <laughs> All right, guys. Good night. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys on Sunday. I'll be posting on Twitter tomorrow. So if you want to communicate, I'm always over on the Twitter slash X. <laughs>